to your favorite podcast, Full Coverage with Mandy M.U.A. Laura Lee. And we have a very special guest here oh. today. Please say hello to Miss Nazanin. Hello, guys. I'm, we're so excited to have you on here. We've I'm known so you forever. Excited. I know. Yeah. I'm so excited. When you guys messaged me, I was like, no way. I was like, babe, you're never going to get to meet me up. Like, I'm so excited. Stop. Thank you so much. Okay, well, that makes that. us happy because I feel like the feeling was very mutual. Oh, yeah. Perfect. No, yes. literally. And then, like, sometimes me and Laura will be like, should we ask people to be on the podcast? Like sometimes we like don't want to ask because we're like really? we don't want to be like a bother. We don't no. want to like oh like to God. come out of their like their way to come over here. And we're like no, we're not gonna ask, but we did. No. Well, we don't want people. Yeah, to feel like obligated. Exactly. You know what I don't mean? like that. Like, I like that. wouldn't want to be on that's I high agree. coverage. I, like what? Babe, like, that part. <laughs> that part. Like, it's sickening, but I agree. Like I don't like the idea of it feeling like an obligation in case someone doesn't want to. Mm -hmm. And yeah. they're like sure because whenever I get asked, I'm like. And I, don't only be, I don't want to do it. I'm like, on it? No, on full coverage, I love. Oh, but okay. like on some other, okay. someone else's podcast, really? I don't really know that well. And they're like, when you come on the podcast, I'm like, okay, I don't know you, but I'm going to yeah. do it. Yeah, that is a little different. I'm going to do it because yeah. I want to be nice. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, but sometimes I'm like, I want to just be at home. Uh, playing well, video I games. love to talk. So yes. give me oh, an opportunity to get I'm a, I'm a talk. <laughs> I absolutely love it. But we always start off with peaks and pits first. Okay. Like we always like, it's like an intro piece. We always do this where it's I like know. peak. Don't worry. I know. I watched the podcast. I I've been that. thinking about it all week. Stop. So I know what I'm going to say. So you, you've seen full coverage before. Honey. Duh. Yes. Girl. I know. I'm like, you don't have to explain it to me. You know, you know what it is. I love, okay. So why don't you give us a uh, peak or pit first? Whatever you want to start with. I'll start with pit. Oh, well, yeah. So we can end on a good note. I, I like Okay. That. You know what? That's great. I'm going to start with okay. pit too. So my pit of the week, so, you know, with it being the new year, Mel and I did a little weight loss journey together. This mm -hmm. is the first time we're doing it together. Wow. Tell me why he's lost 20 pounds <gasps> and we're two weeks deep. Because he's a man. Literally 20 pounds. He's already lost 20 pounds. And mind you, I don't want to throw him on, under the bus. Throw him under. But like, he's cheating. <gasps> Uh, like, you know, this is more weight. I haven't even sniffed an Oreo. Like I <gasps> literally, my son was snacking on Oreos. I had like a one one side of the sandwich. That's it for two weeks. You smelled it. I smelled and it. I licked it. it. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Mel, it's like he'll have a handful here, handful there, oh. da da da. And I'm like, and he dropped the twenty. Pounds. Uh. So make that's, it make sense. So my pit of the week is being a woman. I agree with that. <laughs> I agree with that pit. You know, I might jump in on that pit. You're like, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Oh my, that's a good pit. I also struggle with like the idea of like losing weight. I feel like I can gain muscle easily or like I can like be like broader, but I can't mm -hmm. like lose weight easily. It's like hard. the fat does not want to go. I have very 10. fibrous fat. 10. Oh my god! So in two weeks, but in in two weeks, That's but so let me. It's a lot of inflammation. Nice. Okay, but it's like okay. I'm, okay. I hate to be this person, but I'm not eating sugar. I'm mm -hmm. not eating carbs. Totally, totally. Like you're being life like, kind of sucks right now. No, a hundred percent. It's temporary. I'm gonna get to where I want to be because maintaining is a lot easier than, than yeah, getting losing. There. You know. Yeah. So yeah, that's my pit of the week. How do you not eat sugar? I yeah, know, it's very hard. I feel like sugar's in everything. everything. It's in everything. Like so, unless like, it's sugar free. I haven't been having like my coffee or matcha because I like creamer in there. Oh my God. Like literally. But it's honestly, it's been teaching me a lot of discipline. So yeah, that's, that's the first time in my life I've been this disciplined and it's a really mm. good feeling. That's, how do you feel? Like physically, do you feel okay. good or do you so want to I kill was yourself? Told, okay, so I was told the cravings would be gone. <laughs> they, Give it they a week. Lied. They cravings lied. would be gone. I will inhale like a Reese's peanut butter. <laughs> right, right, right. Oh, okay, girl. Stop. Whole pack if you let me. I know that would be But mean. I don't think the craving's ever going to go Okay. Away. See, I, I wouldn't. Like, I wouldn't. Mine wouldn't. Yeah. Mine I know mine wouldn't for a I'm going to say no to like a chocolate croissant. Like, girl. I'm where? a human being. I, right. Like, <laughs> so you like right. sweets? Like you have a sweet tooth? I do. But I like dates and honey. <laughs> that's good. Oh, that's your that's your I vice. Need, I need a little something sweet. You have but you to. know, you know, like for example, I'd have like Lindor truffles like in my pantry. Yes. And like after every meal, not just at the end of the day, every meal I need something sweet. And I'd have like I'm two insane. or three Lindor truffles. So by the end of the night, why am I nine truffles deep? <gasps> like, you know? That's why I'm like, I need to You're like, I need to stop with the truffles. We it's those take... sneaky calories. I, know. I love a you. truffle as well. I'm a little truffle pig. Uh, yeah, I love too. a truffle. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I Their love holiday trouble. collection. They're so like, good. The cream. And the yes. My no, problem I'm obsessed. is salt. I'm not a child. I'm not. A I, will ex I will explode if you. <laughs> I can't even buy. Like a can of biscuits. You hit that. I can't. I love. Do you like vinegar? Like oh, saltine vinegar. Oh, yes. Like, until my tongue is raw, Me girl. Too. Like, I can't buy that kind of stuff in my house. I There's know. no stop button for me. Hot Cheetos are no longer in her house. I'll make Trust myself and believe. sick. I know. Because, like, I'm addicted to salt and hot Cheetos. Anything salty. Yeah. Salt and vinegar. I'll eat a whole bag. Oh. So that's so that's that's me. So I can't buy it. That's mm. the rule. I know. I have. Keep it the there's house. no, like, 
just don't eat it and it be there for me. Like there's no turn off. Do you ever tell yourself like just kill the bag so you don't keep yep, eating it? Yep, yep. I'm and like, then you're like, just kill it now. <laughs> just end it right here and now. <laughs> you're like, just like, eat the whole just thing eat now. The six servings now, so I don't <laughs> eat it the rest later. of the week. No, yep. of course. And then you just work girl it off math. in one day. <laughs> That's the epitome of girl math. I Literally. love that. Thank you so much to Liquid IV for sponsoring this portion of full coverage. You guys, what's crazy is like when I was sick, I was drinking Liquid IVs and to be hydrated instead of like any other sports drink. And it really was helping me stay super hydrated. I thought it was fantastic. So you guys can rehydrate yourself for the new year. Grab your Liquid IV hydration multiplier sugar-free in bulk nationwide at Costco or get 20% off your first order when you go to liquidiv.com and use code FOOL at checkout. That's 20% off your first order when you shop better hydration today using promo code FOOL at liquidiv.com. Thank you to Shopify for sponsoring this portion of full coverage. Cha-ching! That's the sound you'll hear when you switch your business to Shopify. It's a global commerce platform that supercharges your selling wherever you're selling, online, in person, on social media, and beyond to build, grow, and run their businesses. Sign up today for your $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash full coverage, all lowercase. That's one month for $1 at shopify.com slash full coverage. Shopify.com slash full coverage. Cha-ching. Thank you to Jovi for sponsoring this portion of full coverage. I cannot believe it's taken me 35 years to figure out what Jovi is and to find Jovi. If you guys don't know what they are, is a 100% drug-free patch that relieves pain from your menstrual cramps and so much more. And the gag is too that Jovi isn't just for menstrual pain. Try Jovi for any ache, pain, or source of discomfort and keeps you from living your life or doing things that you love. Jovi has helped tens of thousands of women thrive throughout every day of their cycles. If you want to become one of them, head to meetjovi.com slash full and use code full for 40% off your order. That's right, 40% mm. off. Once again, that's meetjovi.com backslash full for 40% off. And make sure you use our promo code full so they know we sent ya. What's your pet? Uh, my pet, so this, you guys aren't going to care much about this, but I'm a huge Alabama football fan. You're from Ohio. Yeah. Well, you're not from Ohio, but you grew up there. Yeah, yeah. So were you a Buckeyes fan at all? Yeah, I have to be. Okay, yeah, I have no thank choice you. if you're from Ohio. Thank you. Oh. Buckeyes is huge there. Uh-huh. For me, Alabama. Mm-hmm. So um, our football coach just retired, Nick Saban. It's He's like one of the most, wow. it's very devastating. He's mm-hmm. one of the most infamous football coaches in college football, highest paid college football coach best in my opinion college football coach and he just retired this year just announced it so i'm so bummed we're about to have a very interesting next year next year it's like it's like almost like the end of a big era it's like putting it in a grave or something like it died Mm -hmm. like you know Mm because you have to mourn it yeah the next one will be great we got washington's coach which they just went oh is that is that what um, they were the number two Uh uh-huh but like I don't know anything about him, so yeah. What if you love, what if you love him? I could, but he has to do a lot for Alabama fans to love him. You know, you can't just yeah. you can't just drop Nick Saban. He's yeah. the new girl. Yeah, like, like we had to bully it's her very, a little. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. A little hazing <laughs> has to happen. A little hazing for him. <laughs> a little hazing does have to happen. I, I think he's insane for taking the job. I would never take a job after Nick Saban because the expectation it's too high. is going to well, be. First of all, the confidence. Girl. We love it. I mean, That's they, a just, good they sign. just they just won though. I think. First of all, you're d- no, they lost to Michigan. They lost? <sighs> yeah, they lost the national championship. Uh, and they did way worse than we did playing Michigan. Fuck. I'm a football nerd. Cheers. But oh, we can cuss on here. Yes, we can. Okay. Yes, we can. Do you curse on your things? On your channel, your main? Honestly, ever since I became a mom, I curse (gasps) a lot less. Yeah, just in general. And because I also know a lot of moms watch my videos with their kids. That's cool. Oh, got it. I bleep bleep it out. I cuss zero on my main channel. Uh Uh-huh. But here it's like... It's free reign. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Here it is free reign because we are not like catering towards like kids or anything like that. So that that makes a lot of sense. I would be the exact same. Yeah. If I had like a channel like that, I'd be like, no cursing, bleeping. Chill stuff, but here you could Ask not me. cuss if I held a gun to your head. Yeah, I'd be like, don't say it. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. Like I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm literally gonna die. Like a hundred percent. Oh my god. That's reality. My pit. I just yeah. Like the two days ago, like I was not. I was in my backyard, but I was like, I got like an alert at like three in the morning. The next morning, I was like, why is there like my alert on my camera from the night before at mm-hmm. three in the morning going off? So I go look, and I have a bobcat. 
in my backyard, like roaming my backyard, oh. going through everything, and like right behind. <laughs> and you guys, I'm like so freaking paranoid about everything, especially with my my dog Zay. Like yeah. she's so small and stuff. So I get really hyper paranoid oh. about anything with her. That I'm like, you're also anti nature. And I'm not even, you know and, yeah, I mean? I'm not even pro nature like that. Like, like come not, on, you're not. I'm not pro like yeah. crazy wildlife like happening right here. Like I'm just not like. Yeah. I don't want to deal with any of that stuff. So exactly. the fact that there's a bobcat in my backyard now, I feel like there's like we have a, I have a bobcat that like lives out there. Yeah. Because I live like That's on a hill. Pet. Literally, <laughs> I live on a hill, dude. And I'm like, I think it had came down from the hill, from like the little forest. And then now it's like in my backyard. And I'm like, wait, I have coyotes, I have bobcats. Like, are they friends? Like, do they, are they natural enemies? Say, uh, they got a you little guys, dog over this. here. <laughs> no, I'm like, y'all better back the fuck up. <laughs> they called. They called. They no, they, no if, they're, if they keep coming, they might be stalking your dog. That's what I'm saying. That's really the thing, scary, they, they go yeah. up to like the window and like, I know oh, they can see her. The window? Yes. I would it was up to pants. the window. I was like, <gasps> so now I'm like kind of paranoid. I'm like, okay, like, Maybe I can set up a battle between the coyotes and the bobcats. <laughs> we love the drama. I'm imagining, you know what, you we guys? Took it too I actually think <laughs> <laughs> took it too far. I'm going to set up a food trap in the center and I'm going to make sure that trap. both. It's Zaya. <laughs> oh my God. I'm going to put her in a cage, Zaya in a cage. <laughs> and the two are going to go off like this and they're going to, I'm going to get Zaya out of there and they're so going to battle. Bad. It's going to literally be like Twilight where they fight the Volturi. Oh my God, literally Twilight. Oh yeah. And they go like, <laughs> and, you think, and you had no idea the whole time that it was actually a vision. Why can't I see that? <laughs> like, I can I imagine a Next bobcat. Full coverage episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just recording of the battle in my backyard. <laughs> four bobcat, oh no, like four god. coyotes, one bobcat, and just like. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, but not like I'm like just like paranoid. Like I don't like that just because I have a little dog and I and yeah. I already get really yeah. scared to like bring it out with me or do anything. Yeah. So now I'm even more like just like another level of fuck. Like I know. Yeah. why? Do you have yeah. pets? Random. I used to. Girl, you got to make kids yeah. now. That would be, oh God, a, lot be a lot to juggle. To take care of. Right, no. Like, and they all went to amazing homes. Of oh, course, of yeah. course, of course. So that's another thing, too. Is that like, the reason because of fam like a lot of family? Honestly, all three of them was beginning to be a lot. Yeah. But also, totally. I we were so young when we got our animals. Mm -hmm. I realized, like, we're not animal people that's you know totally. what i mean yeah. that's totally fine because there's people that take their dogs everywhere yeah. and the mm -hmm. dogs sleep in the bed with them and stuff totally. like I, I don't want like my pets in my bed and like that's you know fine. all that stuff so i'm like i'd rather give them to homes where you know they're like the baby of the, the, the family. obsessed right. with them. they are the bait like each family they went to like one of them has an instagram page oh. with their new family so i keep tabs on her the other one i text i love that the other one i keep up with so i still I feel keep like up that's with very fair them. yeah i agree and i feel like it's actually pretty people don't talk about it enough because it seems like taboo online to like yeah. rehome or to like you know displace in some way but like if it's better for the pet exactly and for the owner like why would you not do that like give the pet a better chance it took us a long time you know because I mean? of that too and because we were scared of judgment people are Absolutely. gonna like judge us yeah. but i'm like you know what this is the best case scenario you guys see the responsible for, thing for everybody I, yeah i couldn't you know? agree more yeah thank you it's happened to me once before i've had this place and it was yeah it's very hard very, I was lots bawling. of tears oh yeah i was bawling i was yeah. bawling and the dog went to feel... his mom <laughs> yeah. so you still see him all the time <laughs> no but the gag it's like went to my mom but then it, it got because and then my mom couldn't handle the dog either and then it went big to dog? a big it like turned into a huge dog okay. and it was like hurting the little dogs it was just <laughs> not on purpose it wasn't doing a purpose but it just ended up not being the situation that we could even like handle at the time yeah. and we felt bad for it because she wants to play with dogs her size and she couldn't it yeah. was a full disaster so end up going to like the groomer oh, so we nice. would see her all the time it's perfect wow. so it's like going yeah. it went to the groomer and we always take the dog to the groomer so <laughs> it was perfect it worked out perfectly but yeah. i remember like at the time i was like am i just like a bad person for oh no i know like, i felt like that too i felt horrible mm -hmm. i was like i can't believe like this even happened to me but i feel like if it's better for the dog and better for the human like it sh that would be the best case scenario yeah. don't like don't let the dog live in misery or cat or whatever pet live 100%. in a miserable situation right. just because right. you feel bad that you can't exactly you know mm -hmm. so yeah. yeah well what's your pe uh, peak? peak my peak you know i don't have like one exact thing that happened i've just been in a really good mood since the new year i don't oh, know that's good. Like, i've just i've just been really grateful just for life in general that was one of my new year's goals is mm -hmm. just to share more like gratitude, gratitude on just the most like mundane things yeah. like i woke up this morning my kids are happy mm -hmm. i'm here on full coverage <laughs> like, life well, is really beautiful yeah. so i've just been appreciating i for feel what like it the is. universe 
this may be too deep, but I feel like the universe delivers you whenever you have gratitude for mundane things that you're just used to and are just there and you don't see. The universe delivers you gifts. It does. I do. Mm-hmm. It does. I, I really believe that the attitude of gratitude, like you're going to receive because your energy is so high that you're right. putting out there to the universe that you get things. You get the good. And mm-hmm. you don't even trying to get them. You're just trying to be happy and appreciate. And yeah. that's when good things start to flow on in. I couldn't agree. And I also like, I think too, a lot of times you actually notice the good things happening because you're grateful. Exactly. So like things like could potentially be coming in, but if you're negative and you're in bad space, you're just like you're never gonna notice those things because you're only paying attention to the shit. But like if you're like I'm on this gratitude, I'm on this high, you get so much in return because you look for the good things. Especially in our career field, I think Mm. we can get very blinded by a lot of things that really aren't that important, important, Mm. important, Um, important. (laughs) You know, so I'm just even things that are mundane to us is something so amazing you know just having a roof over your head for somebody like they wish they had that they Mm -hmm. wish they had so i just always tell myself that like i'm really i'm just so lucky for yeah that's really awesome Mm -hmm. i love that i think that's amazing i know i walked into my um out out of my balcony doors it shows like the huge hills and you see mansions up there and when the sun's setting the houses light up Uh and it literally looks like i live in hawaii Mm -hmm. or like some paradise just just through that door and i was walking through getting ready to take a shower and i was like i go do i live in paradise permanently like yeah this is crazy. insane. I'm mm-hmm. from Alabama where there's like That's mud and dirt so. in my backyard right. and a mm-hmm. chain fence. Like, right. I, I was just like, this can't even be real right now. Mm-hmm. And then I went and took a shower. <laughs> <laughs> and, you're like, and then I can't even handle it. As if I haven't lived there for five years, but still I was just like, oh my God. I know. No, it's true. But I feel like you, like when you are paying, when you're on that wavelength, you just notice more things. Like I'm the same way. Like, I feel like I always have a really positive demeanor, like it's on life in general. Like I'm pretty positive, like very happy go lucky. And I always just notice like the good and positive things mm-hmm. like that yeah. come in. And I think that like good things happen from that. And like people, yeah. are, I think you're people, you attract more people that way. Mm-hmm. Cause it's like people have always said that like, oh, you have like an energy I want to be around. Yeah. Cause of, of that like attitude, that high frequency. What do you always say? Catch more flies with honey oh, than with I vinegar. That's what it is. Mm-hmm. That's what you Cause it, and it's the truth. Like it's like yeah. you can get so, I have gone so many places in my life from just being on like a happier, more chill wavelength with people and just being kind and showing kindness with people than I could even like hoped for. Like, I don't think I would ever gotten to a spot in my life now if I didn't have this attitude that I have. Yeah, I agree. Like, I really like don't. Networking and making yeah, friendships. Yeah, just being and friends and chill. Building relationships, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't 100%. think I would ever be here. So it's like, it's so good. I think be, like the gratitude 2024 is like another huge thing is just yeah. to be like constantly grateful for what you have. Yeah. yeah. It's so good. Well, my peak is that I'm doing dry january which i don't ever drink in january anyway. <laughs> i was like you, bar- you barely drink in real life anyway <laughs> i know, I know. <laughs> i'm like ma'am everybody's doing like 75 hard and like uh, all yep. these you know everybody has like their january things mm-hmm. and yeah. diets and workout and like they're trying to implement new things in their life so i was like i want to take a stab at some things i didn't really have anything like physically that i wanted to do i just had a bunch of mental little goals i wanted to do so i was like i'll just try Jan- dry january because i've never done it before and so many people have done it and it's very easy especially now if you got <laughs> me in dry, dry, dry july honey it's Hold on, i have difficult. i have a suggestion oh tell me dry dr pepper <laughs> for the month that, laura if you want to really be really should. dry see now that that's a real challenge yeah that would be a real challenge and diet for me. doesn't count either she would never drink diet in the first place. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Not you don't do? Life. Never drink diet. <laughs> or or, or sugar free. <laughs> yeah, I was like, she wouldn't drink I want, that. I want the that. real deal. Uh-huh. Okay, you know what? I really like and that. And no sweet tea. And I'm going to put that in a pocket and never look at it. <laughs> That's what I really talk. like that idea. I'm gonna put that away. I'm gonna zip that up, throw it, it outside out. the window. No, that really does got me thinking. That does got me thinking because dry January, be it truly like it's fun. And it's like, oh, okay, Ty's doing it with me. But so his is a little more challenging because he drinks a lot with the guys on the mm-hmm. weekend on the golf because he golfs. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And like they, whereas girls are more supportive with this shit. They guys are. are like, oh, you're a fucking loser. You're not I'm, drinking shit. I'm like, ooh, projection. Uh, it's the projection. It is. It's the projection. Um, We're over here like shitting on. <laughs> we think you have great oh, friends Ty. they're all lovely they are but i'm doing it and it's not a challenge at all because i literally don't drink in january because what are we doing i know there's but, like no events there's, there's like one or there's two literally, and yeah. there's like just nothing in january i feel like it is such a chill time yeah, and like is. our industry it's so like 
We're recovering Chill. from Q4. So true. Because uh, that's the craziest no, shit of our like, life. I'm always like, Q4 Anxiety. I know. Anxiety is real. <laughs> Q4 is real. And it's like the time where I'm the most recluse. Yeah. Is during Q4 time where I'm like, I want to just be home and like chill. Out. I'm burnt out from the year. Out. Oh, yeah. I'm like, and yo, that's I just want to chill. Pick up the last scene. leg. Yeah. You got yeah. You to fight the You're hardest. You're like, come on, dude, you got it. And I'm like, no. Right. It's I really am going to marinate on what you said, though, because I do think that would be a real challenge for me. And that was the point. Yeah. So maybe I'll do dry, uh, no dark pepper February because there's only 28 days. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we love the hat. You're cheating the system. I love it. <laughs> Y'all see me become <laughs> work smarter, mania. not harder. Yeah. Lord, what if something? Like, what if something gets crazy? What if something crazy? Like Dr. Pepper's been taking your life force. Like you grow like 10 like feet of hair. Yeah, like, like, your nails this. become this long. <laughs> She's gonna get a DM like, Hey, Laura, we see you don't want to drink this anymore. Yeah. No, Dr. Pepper's already talking to me. Whole thing is for a year. I'm never drinking Dr. Pepper again. <laughs> Your eyes turn blue. You're like, what? Oh, the <laughs> My hair goes blonde. <laughs> what has Dr. Pepper been doing to you? <laughs> like too you? Do you agree on this? I've seen like a tweet. It will be like Dr. Pepper tastes like the color burgundy. Yes. <gasps> yes. So true. Oh, and I think the cool. marketing so cool. people were so smart that they felt that. And that's when they made Like, I feel like the marketing <gasps> people. That was the color of that. When people t burgundy? taste like root beer, it does not. It, I, I I see the similarity, but like, mm -hmm. it doesn't replace a yeah. Dr. Pepper. Like, oh, don't give me same. a root beer. Are you a Dr. Pepper person? All right. You're from I'm Ohio. You had to uh, have a Coke. soda in your I life. I know. I had a I soda. Like a Coke. Mm -hmm. yeah, I love Not a Coke. Coke Zero. I love a Coke. Coke, Coke yeah. you know? I do. Like if they don't have Dr. Pepper, I'll do a Coke. Do a Coke. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or Cherry Coke like a is little my favorite. Cherry Coke's really good. I actually used to really fuck with Cherry Coke mm -hmm. massively. It's so good. When I was into like dark soda. Mm -hmm. When I was in my Diet Coke now? era. No, I just, yeah, I was drinking like Sprite. That's like all I'll drink. I like Sprite. I used to be addicted yeah. to Dr. Pepper, or not Dr. Pepper, to Diet Coke, like ferociously. So now I'm just like, I just don't drink any dark sodas. Well, what's your peak? <sighs> My peak? I met Selena Gomez. I thought that was really fun. Oh, it was yeah. nice. I went to um, a rare beauty event. Laura came with me. We did it together. We got invited in. Um, I've never met Selena before. So I thought that was like a really fun thing. She was really sweet, super kind. Um, we were there an hour late and we missed the entire um Like truly speech. the entire event. Like the event was we missed over the entire event. In, let's be honest. We And we walked in and there was people meeting Selena and that's literally And what. there was two more girls and they were rapping and they were like, <laughs> wait, Selena, could you wait for two more? No, no wow. literally. We got there oh like, cause like, and the thing is I had missed on the invite said promptly at two. Oh, okay. You know, you know it's event like two to four. Los yes. Yeah. And it's like in Los Angeles, I'm like, girl, like, I know that's hard. ain't like no, nothing starting at two o'clock. Right. But I just missed promptly. So we got there at three because I was like, okay, we'll get there for like a good amount of time. Yeah. Get there for an hour. Yeah. Just not right when it starts because no one's really there when it starts anyway. Yeah. Aww. It was empty. And it was like, gone. Oh. And it was like, gone. But we still got to meet her. Yeah. She was really cool, really sweet, very kind. And I wanted to be like, you don't tell Taylor. Imagine. Imagine. I would never do I that. I wish they would like, arrest you out of the event. And then they, they, they put me in handcuffs. They, they so hog tie me yeah. and they throw me in the thing. <laughs> but no, um, she oh, was really sweet. Dead. She was really kind. And I really. I podcast and talk about it. I was like, you want to come on the pond? Yeah. Do you want to come on? Do you want to come? Oh my God. Laura, I was like. <laughs> <laughs> Now that's what you're probably gonna experience the rejection, <laughs> the rejection. that you're you're fearing. The the, the fear of rejection oh would happen then in that activate. moment. It yeah, would it would activate, activate there. Um, <laughs> but it was it was really it was really cute. It was nice to meet her. Yeah, but yeah, that's so nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, got there for the most important thing. So. Yeah, exactly. We got to meet her. I mean, honestly, talk to her for a little bit. It was fun. Well, that's yeah. when we were going. Yeah, it was. That's where we were. Selena. That's where we were going. She's always really sweet. I just want to throw this in there, like. A lot of people can sell a lot of shit because they're so famous, but like Selena's smart enough to show up at her events, yeah. show face, take the pictures. Wears it, like all she's her smart. Stuff. She's smart. She actually wears her makeup. Mm -hmm. You know, she she's gets on TikTok with yeah, she's heavily involved. Mm -hmm. I'm like, you're smart. You're a smart girl. Not a lot yes. of the brand owner girlies do that. Because I really don't. don't think she has to have I think it's part of the reason of success, but I think the brand would be successful if she didn't do all those things. Because she's Selena yeah. Gomez. Mm -hmm. But but I think it's so big because she does put that extra effort into yeah. her brand and it shows. So. You can tell she tries. So yeah. good. And it's good. The it's product like is literally amazing. good, you know. <laughs> That's why I think it would do good either. Way. Like yeah, it would have done really great do. regardless. Right. I do. But Selena behind it just like amplified it's its another success. Level. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right. Okay, let's ask you. Let's get into your world. Maybe let's get into Ooh. your life and your world. I'm on the hot seat. <laughs> <laughs> You're in the hot seat. You so are. we have some like easy questions and then we have some <laughs> shady questions. No, just, yeah. <laughs> some spicier we love questions the drama. too. But we're going to start off easy. We're going to start off light. Okay. So we found out recently that you started doing social media when you were 12? I was, 14. yeah, 13, eighth grade. Go what? Baby, what, what in, in God's your green? little mind? 
What made you like best idea you ever had? No, literally. I know, literally. I could go back and be like, wow, like, like go girl. a round of applause. Go girl. Like, so I've just I started getting into makeup because I had really bad acne growing up. I still struggle mm. with it, but I just had really bad acne. So I wanted to cover it. So that's kind of what got me into makeup oh. so young. Mm. And I was, I loved just coming home from school, turning on YouTube. I had no parental supervision, by the way. Maybe it that. was. I, it was a free for all. Mm -hmm. Like I would just go on YouTube and I would watch Mac Barbie 07, <gasps> Juicy Star 07, mm, Michelle Star, yeah, Fawn. Yeah. Like those three raised the OGs. me. Mm -hmm. Like those, I still They're watch. Super OGs. Is it bad I still go and watch Mac Barbie's videos now? Cause it's like comforting. The nostalgia. Which, you know, yeah, right. nostalgia Mac is Barbie. very, is very. Bethany Moda. Oh. I went to her meet oh and greet. Yep. Literally, I have a picture on my Instagram. If you go all the way down back when I took a picture with her at her Aeropostale meet and greet. And I was like, I hope to be as successful as Mac Barbie 07 one day. Wow, like, you I, need to repost that I right know. now. <laughs> so Literally, funny. that's crazy. I mean, she's just so amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much to Liquid IV for sponsoring this portion of Full Coverage. You guys, in the new year, we need to hydrate ourselves. Y'all be looking thirsty. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but literally, you guys, we need to be rehydrating ourselves with Liquid IV with three times the electrolytes of the leading sports drink plus eight vitamins and nutrients for everyday wellness. Liquid IV hydrates two times faster than water alone, all in a single sugar-free stick. What I like about Liquid IV is that it's so easy to use and convenient. They have these mm -hmm. pre-measured packets that you just pour into a glass of water and drink it's so easy to do you put one stick into 16 ounces of water and it hydrates better than water alone and it's three times the electrolytes than the leading sports drinks it has no artificial sweeteners eight vitamins and non-gmo what's crazy is like when i was sick i was drinking liquid ivs and to be hydrated instead of like any other sports drink and it really was helping me stay super hydrated i thought it was fantastic so you guys can rehydrate yourself for the new year grab your liquid iv hydration multiplier sugar-free in bulk nationwide at costco or get 20 percent off your first order when you go to liquidiv.com and use code fool at checkout that's 20 percent off your first order when you shop better hydration today using promo code fool at liquidiv.com Thank you to Jovi for sponsoring this portion of full coverage. I cannot believe it's taken me 35 years to figure out what Jovi is and to find Jovi. If you guys don't know what they are, it's a 100% drug-free patch that relieves pain from your menstrual cramps and so much more. And the gag is too that Jovi isn't just for menstrual pain. Try Jovi for any ache, pain, or source of discomfort and keeps you from living your life or doing things that you love. And honestly, like you guys can literally get a... 120 day risk free purchase from them. That's up to four cycles. If you aren't satisfied, send this patch back and Jovi will send you a refund. I like using Jovi because it's a reusable patch and it's also so comfortable and just easy to take anywhere and use at any time. Jovi has helped tens of thousands of women thrive throughout every day of their cycles. If you want to become one of them, head to meetjovi.com slash full and use code full for 40% off your order. That's right. 40% mm. off. Once again, that's meetjovi.com backslash full for 40% off and make sure you use our promo code full so they know we sent ya. Yeah, so I just, I loved, I was so inspired by those girls and I had the confidence of the world growing up. Oh, I'm and I, I asked my parents a lot about what they did with me so I can implement that into my kids because I want them to have that same confidence. But literally with a face full of acne, little 13 year old girl, I'm like filming in my little pink and zebra bedroom. And I'm like, so this is how you do your makeup with my little wet and wild, like yes. where it said like crease, lid. It's the delusion. Outer it's corner, delulu. literally. It's the mm -hmm. delusion. I delulu myself into where I am. So oh, I love that yeah, you. it didn't become my full career. It became a job because even social mm -hmm. media, YouTube wasn't as lucrative mm -hmm. as it oh, no. was until, mm -hmm. would you say like 2016? Yeah. yeah. It's Honestly. when that makeup, tr the cut hit. crease hit. Mm -hmm. um, so when I was in 10th grade, I started making like good money off of social media. Tenth and grade. then, yeah, I was a sophomore. And then by oh senior year, I left school early just to pursue YouTube as my Oh my God, I didn't know Shut that. Yeah. You know, I went to New York Beauty Con. It was in October of my senior year. So I went wow. and I was around other girls my age in social media and they're all like we're homeschool girl like you still go to school wow and you're like damn why am i wasting my time with school when i could be like growing my career yeah mm. but luckily i i so i have one of my really close friends she's like super smart and she would take like ap classes and do classes in the summer so whatever she did i did oh so wow. i was i was already done with all my credits by the time i was a junior in high school so literally it wasn't even a big deal you're like I still, I'm done wow. yeah i didn't have to continue i just walked in may got are my you diploma. kidding me yeah i and love I that just, yeah that's amazing. That is so sick. Yeah, and then it became my full-time job. 
And you started making money off YouTube. Yeah. And it was YouTube where you kind of started. So yeah, YouTube, Instagram wasn't even a thing yeah. when YouTube first yeah. started. So yeah, it became, it became like a full what, thing. What did you post year? as such a young person? Like what was similar videos to like Mac yeah. Barbie and. Yeah. And then also what really put me on the map in my opinion is my get ready with me prom videos. Okay. Mm. So okay. I went to prom freshman year, sophomore year junior senior so i would film getting ready for each one of those oh iconic and a lot of people Sick found name. me through that wow. and that's great too because a lot of the girls that follow me were in the same age range so like we kind of grew up together yes so yes it's really fun to see i have a lot of followers oh, now cute. that are my age and yeah. i know that we, we yeah did it, we did it together mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's really fun that is so cool Wow, you're a really smart kid. <laughs> I know like, that is so freaking cool to be able to do that and like know back then you're like i want to do this full time i'm gonna like not go to school anymore and just like <laughs> pursue it but that's the yeah. thing i didn't like leave school and i'm just sitting here like playing yeah. with no, my toes sure. like yeah. i was like okay let me make this happen it wasn't until my sophomore year i also flew out to the first beauty con remember like the first ever beauty oh, con yeah. mm -hmm. and i didn't have a manager then i didn't even know that like you needed a manager totally. like i was wow. so new i think i had 100k at the time mm -hmm. and i go to beauty con la just like regular general admission and I'm like, oh my God, I can't even like get into the lounge that like my friends are Stop. in. Because oh I didn't know it was all such a new world. And I totally. remember, and I came by myself, by the way. I told my You're parents, I'm, like, I'm flying to LA next week. Like, Oh my God, by bye. yourself? So one of my friends came with her mom and like the brand provided her a hotel and stuff. So I uh -huh. stayed with them. But I literally, I didn't ask for permission. You hustled I was like, it. Mom and dad, I had a, my little debit card. Like, that's I was what like, I'm doing. I booked my ticket to LA. What did they say? But, so, I mean, my parents have always trusted me. I think okay. that's yeah. also with just growing up as an immigrant. My parents mm -hmm. never viewed me as a child. Like okay. I was filing taxes like at nine years old, like, 100%. you know. So when I came back home, my dad picked me up in the airport. I was just in tears in the car. And I was like, I'm a nobody. I'm a loser. Like all these no. girls have managers and oh all that. And God. they have, they get invited to these parties and I'm not getting invited or this that, and a third. And I'm like, I think I'm doing something when that, that trip to LA was like eye opening. I'm like, yeah. there's so much more than just my small town in Channel, Ohio. Like your small world. So I met some of my friends' managers and I emailed every single one of them. Only one hit me back up. The other ones were like, grow a little bit more, get a little older. And then, we'll, mm. you know, because I was like 15 and, you know, it was still really new. 15. One manager was like, I'll sign you. Let's get to it. And that's when I started getting like deals. the six deals. figure deals, yeah. you know, because I used to just be happy with a you know, a couple hundred Girl, and it, for free real. gifting. Like, for I'm like, real. oh, free makeup? Uh -huh. Yeah. Absolutely. You know? Yeah. I mean, that's what it was back then, too. A lot of times it was like, oh my God, I get free It just products. wasn't as evolved to where no. it is now. Yeah, it yeah. wasn't right. like brand deals. So like, we didn't even know to ask for more. Right. Mm -hmm. You know? And it's just, you, like, you were just happy to get what you oh, got. You're like, 100%. oh my God, a free mascara yeah. for a video TikTok, <laughs> oh, TikTok, <laughs> TikTok, six. Instagram <laughs> post, Instagram story. Oh my God, yes. You're yep. like, posted. <laughs> I literally have so many posts in my on my <laughs> on my Instagram that are like super low that you can just see that are just product shots. Yeah, oh. literally. Because stories wasn't a thing. No, nope. right. So you would just post the product you got. I'd feed. be like, it'd be like brushes or lipsticks. I'd be I like, know. oh my God, I'm so excited to try <laughs> these Gerard Cosmetics lipsticks. <laughs> and I was like, Aww. damn. That Neutrogena makeup wise. No, literally right. I'd be like, oh my God, Neutrogena, thank you so much for sending me. Because it's so crazy the idea I of know. a brand sending you something, especially in the beginning, you're like, I can't believe I'm getting sent something. Like, right. they well, see like value in there wasn't PR hauls. No, right? no, like, it wasn't a thing. Only a few brands have caught on to like sending influencers Mm -hmm. and like that was all navigated and then slowly barely any brands paid yeah so you would get lucky oh, there'd be a lot of codes. codes like they would yeah. give like codes oh, out yeah. mm -hmm. and affiliate links mm -hmm. yeah and affiliate mm -hmm. links like that was like their way of like trying to pay for things it's like how we oh sorry go ahead. no 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 no. this it's is like your show how you would gauge like your success is who's pr list yes. oh my god yes. you're like yes. you're yes. literally it's, it's like, so true on, if, I got, if i got if i got abh i was like damn i want abh i know it's like literally. a sick thing <laughs> or like it's like it's like if you get invited to like the the halloween party you're like wow like, i still didn't get him haven't gotten invited to halloween I know. I'm like, I better get that invite this year. Do they still do it? No. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. But that was like. I never got a chance. The thing. I was smuggled you in and I'll heart Please, next time you guys go. Yes, we will sneak you in. That's the thing with Laura and Manny, guys. They are so connected. Like, wherever you like wherever you want to go, like, they know someone. Literally. I could be like, I want to go to Mars. I'm like, okay, we got it. We got the rep. Yeah, we got the rep. We got the rep. We we have you covered. Or like any anything that you need, like do you need a lighting setup? Like, baby, of course. Like, here's your here's the thing. Yeah, but it's nice. We're not gatekeepers. Okay, let's fast forward a little bit. Um, so now 
you're a young mom. I say a young mom, but most people have kids your age. And I'm like, she's a teen mom. <laughs> I know, literally. She's a teen mom. <laughs> she's 25. Mom. Like, I, you got, Laura, I do the same thing. I do the really? same thing. Yeah, I'm always like, oh my God, like she's a baby. I know, I'd be feeling like a baby too, but I'm like, I'm 25. Like, uh, yeah. But you, had, you already had three kids by 24. Yeah. Right? I, yes. Right? I was pregnant with my twins at 23. So yeah, I had oh, them okay. at 24. Okay. Right? Yeah. No. No, no. I had my twins when, on at my twenty fourth, so I had them by twenty three. I had three kids by twenty three. Oh my god! Yes, oh, I had my three because they were born in August. My birthday is December, so yeah, three by twenty three. But I cheated a little bit because I had twins. Girl, that's harder. That's, I know. I, mean, I, that's say, harder. I don't that think more, that's cheating. I think that's, I like, I think more that's you know, it's unlocking a milf level, you know. But no. it was, yeah, um, a new milf level. Literally, 100%. I'm like, am I even considered a milf? Like, I feel like 25 doesn't count. I you're like I still to... so young. But like, like milf you're... is just a mother I'd love to fuck. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> so, so you're I literally guess so. yes. a milf. Yes. Or a yes. dilf. Like no, I've been fully embracing like the Pilates mom, like you know, my little Tesla. The thing is, like, if you were my mom, I'd be so shook because all my friends would be in love with you, and you know, like that's the truth. Yep. Yep. Like oh, I'd no. be like, stop like being obsessed with my mom. Like I'd be freaked out. Yeah. You know, people will message me that. Like when I would post like Savage, they're like, you're not worried about your son's friends pulling up these photos. And I'm like, if my son's biggest, the biggest thing he's getting bullied about is his hot mom, I would consider him pretty fucking <laughs> he's lucky. Fine. Yeah. I've right. Always he's just fine. Meanwhile, just I'm getting slaughtered about that. my like skin and stuff. And like right. that's his biggest right. problem in life is Great. his hot mom. Oh, oh my God. Woe, Woe is me, bitch. I've always disagreed with that because like I understand becoming a mother becomes such a huge part of your life, uh -huh. but I feel like people lose their identities. They're still a human being. You're still not, yes. like, you still have your life. Mm -hmm. Like, and it's not like, okay, we have to stop everything. We have a child. We, have kids right. now. we exactly. can't do anything. Hello. And I think a lot of people forget that the woman in the house, mother or not, she sets the emotional tone. Totally. Mm -hmm. She sets the tone for everything. Totally. If, you know, they say the man is the head of the house. Like, mm -hmm. honestly, Money. it's the woman. Mm -hmm. It's the woman. Have you guys Boots. seen My Big Fat Greek Wedding? Absolutely. Uh -huh. I love. Oh, so he always says the mom was talking to the daughter and she goes, the man might be the head, but the woman is the neck and the neck turns the head, whatever she wants. <laughs> and I love Wait, that. I feel like she that's the mood. truth. It's so it's like, because the thing the is truth. like when and also like when I was little, I'd be like, I would be like, mom, can I do this? I would never go ask my dad if, yeah. I, if I could do something. I'd be like, mom, like she was the one that would rule over yeah. what was actually going on. And dad would be like, house. go ask mom. Go ask mom. Exactly. Well, my mom was mad. Everybody runs. Everybody like, run. Everybody right. Because mom sets the tone. Exactly. Right. You know, you she's know? mad. You're destroyed. Yeah. So if mom is burnt out, overwork, all that, that transfers mm -hmm. onto the the house. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. The kids, so, everyone. And I'm lucky enough. I have a husband who's so supportive and really understands that. And it's like mm -hmm. whatever I need, like he makes sure. It happens. It's amazing. Mel also really educated himself on the woman's hormone cycle. Really? Mm. So that's like new information that we're learning that the same 28 days that it takes us women to go through our hormone cycle, it takes men 24 hours. Oh my God. You haven't heard of that? I, I didn't know that. that. I did not know really? that. Really? Oh no. my God. Yeah. Men have no. that 24 hour clock. It takes us 28 days, our period cycle, pretty much. Wow. To go through that. That is so that's why we'll have Is that weeks. why I'm, I'm horny at 11 p.m.? <laughs> Like every day. every day. And that's why us women <laughs> were like, I don't really feel like it for a good like two weeks. Yeah. You know? Literally. Oh. Yeah. I did I had, I had no idea. That is yeah. so, that is so wow. I had no idea. Is it like what's it like like do you feel like it's a really a balancing act of like having kids and still being a creator? Like is do you ever notice like you're like, Oh my god, like I'm paying attention to one too much or the other one too much? Yes. Like do you ever feel like it's hard to like balance and marry the two? I literally just cried about that in my last no. video. Oh my God. Yeah. But it is, it's such a hard balancing act because when you feel like you're excelling in one, you're falling behind in the other. That's actually one thing that I did this year is I actually got an assistant. I'm like, this mm. is time. Because oh, yeah. I'm literally, even when I told my management I got an assistant, they're like, thank God. Like, <laughs> like praise be. We're like, we're tired of dealing, dealing with you. You know, they're like, oh. like oh. I know literally, we have the same manager. We have the same manager. Way. Yeah, they're like, thank God. Um, but yeah, just already like two weeks in, it's just been such a weight off wow. my shoulders. You mm -hmm. know, I can focus more on the creative aspect or spend time with my family instead of sitting there editing. Or even my husband, he would like edit for me, like I would film and he would edit. But then it's like, well, we can't like spend time together at the end of the yeah. night. Or he has to wait for the kids to nap or go to sleep. So. Then it's like he's editing at like 11 p.m. when I'd rather just sit and watch movies and yeah, you and know, chill and, and have live like, life. So, yeah, yeah, live life. That was very hard, but I feel like finally we're making steps towards. That's my thing now. I delegate. I feel like you do so good. I watch Maybe your you vlogs all the time. Thank you. I love when you show your kids and family time. I just love watching y'all together. Y'all are the cutest, sweetest Aww. family. The cutest Mel's right, a very sweet, sweet guy. Very supportive. I see it. Like I can see y'all's relationship. 
Thank you. Also, you have my back for sure. Oh, 100%. Because no I doubt. know a lot of men, I, I hate seeing in this industry, especially, I feel like a lot of men dim their woman's shine. Ace family. Or- Ace He's family. Trust and believe. I know. I was like, couldn't Ace agree family. more. You're like, <laughs> I know. Yup, yup. You know? They're it's just the like, truth. yeah, it's the they're draining truth. the woman mm-hmm. when it's like she's the star of the show. Mm-hmm. Like, I hate when men try to be the star of the show, mm-hmm. even you for guys, a couple channels. It's like, like the biggest pet peeve of mine. I know. And I even see in the beauty industry, there's creators that I like love, that I've known forever, and their man is an absolute disaster. And I know. I'm like, they want to be the main character. And it's what like, what are you doing, you weirdo? Yeah, man. Like, hold her bags. It's almost like e- the ego. Maybe, yeah, maybe it's like, ego we thing. see it. Mm-hmm. Like, we all see it. You, you know? know? I mean, like, babe, we just, know. It's another thing I talked about in my video. It's just with society, especially with us women in this industry. Like, we dominate this industry. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's not mm-hmm. enough opportunities for men, well, straight men, in the, you know, in social the media. Space yeah, much, or just yeah, social totally. media so in true. general. So for them to compare themselves in this industry to us, like, it's just really unfair. Like, mm-hmm. you know? So I love mm-hmm. that he's okay with you know, making sure that I'm good so that he can help, you know, my, our brand. Absolutely. You know? It's a team was, effort. Yeah. And it's that a team. was, it was our big thing too. Um, we were filming a lot more together when the couples channels wave was big mm-hmm, on social media. Mm-hmm. I would say that was like two years ago. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, but now it's kind of turned more into me doing like my day in my life as a mommy. Mm-hmm. And we were going back and forth. Should we change the name of my channel to Nas mm-hmm. and Mel? Or oh, yeah. just mm. Nazanin Kavari. Mm-hmm. So that was a big thing with us. And I feel like Mel almost felt like he needed that so he can be respected on the page because people totally. would be like, this is Naz's show. And Mel, you know, they but wouldn't. Just yeah. You know, because the couples channels had that respect. Both yep. both people got that respect. But because I guess it was called Nazanin Kavari. It started with you, though. You know, they wouldn't. Yeah. Like, they wouldn't see us as like. Equals. Yeah. Or he's like mm-hmm. helping or whatever. Mm-hmm. So that was my thing, too. I hated that people would make him feel like that because I'm like we know the truth and you mm-hmm. helped me so much even for example i had stuff to do before i got here he had like my water bottle ready for me my food so i wouldn't mm-hmm. leave hungry like he had my food so ready cute. for me he's like what do you need you know i i personally love that and you know everybody has their different dynamics but i think what we have works and it just 100%. sucks that from people looking from the outside in our society will like look down on it yeah yeah totally 100%. i think that it's all about like just whatever works for you guys yeah it's your guys as well it's your relationship whatever works for you like that's the best thing yeah. and like if you know you're the quote-unquote public star like he's the air pushing you up like to keep you there you know what i mean it's like i think that there's it's always a team effort like i always felt like that with like laura and tyler too and like they're such a team and like laura yeah she's the one that's on video in the thing but tyler's helping her all the time like doing things behind the scenes with the Mm -hmm. brands just so much stuff i was just so much stuff and he he helps us every time we come on the podcast he's here so it's like it's a team. It really it is. is a team. And then I'm just the third. That's just throwing it. And, yeah. <laughs> and, then and I'm the promo. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just toss me in. But um, it's, it's, it's it really is a team effort. And it I think is. that people might not see that because of the society standards, like you yeah. were saying. Or they just see, like, I'm filming this tutorial, but they don't see, like, who's editing, who's, who's you know. Who's helping. Yeah, like, who is. Facilitate. Yeah. Right. Do who's taking care of the kids at the time. Do you know Ex- how many times exactly. people are like, what does Ty do? I, we get that message all the time. I'm, and like, I'm like, just so you know, y'all would get <laughs> what 50, doesn't he do? less than 50% of what you get exactly. right now with yeah. my brands, with my socials, with my TikTok, with everything, if he wasn't with me. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So he does it all. Right. <laughs> you know, but it's like I, he does it behind the scenes more like, like mm-hmm. him getting your water, getting you ready mm-hmm. just to go out the door to be the star of the show, like mm-hmm. doing all right. those things. Like you're not going to. People won't know that unless exactly. they're there and experience it. But I, you see it. You see it in your content. You feel it. Like, it's undoubtable mm, that he's, like, you. the total. he's there and he's part of it. I don't even doubt that for one Same. second. Not at all. I, I, and I think that a lot about, like, social media, like, especially the like, beauty girlies, like, when they have a man, like, I always feel like a lot of times they are, the men's there helping them, supporting mm-hmm. them, bringing them up. And then sometimes I think the I opposite. can tell when they don't. Yeah. I, think I can tell. Like, you're going to events. Like, yeah. I can tell. Why, and people ask me how I balance. And I'm like, because I have a family, not just my husband, but I have totally. a family mm-hmm. that really supports me. And like my parents too, they help watch the kids and they encourage me to like go out and meet people mm-hmm. and network because there's that one quote it's not about how much money you make it's about the hands you shake yeah so literally my parents I are because i remember i was like super busy and i got invited to the good american event mm-hmm. and chloe was going to be there my parents are like you're going to miss on meeting chloe kardashian they're like, they're like you're, going. you're going bitch. literally they're like uh-huh. you're going you know so i'm just really lucky just i have a really really good, good support team. system mm-hmm. i couldn't do it that's how them. you do it all I, that's, that's how i do it how all. else yeah. would you be able to just three like no kids, way you have a good team no behind you you have good people i'm really lucky you have good people well you're a good person so good people oh, attract you. good people exactly. you're not just lucky you. uh-huh. you're not you are you, you get like what you, you put get out what you put out oh, so yeah yeah, so yeah, yeah i couldn't yeah. agree more with that 
Um, okay, so mommy makeover. Let's talk Ooh. about it. We're allowed, to, so ask this question. We're allowed this. to ask this question, by the way. Okay. I'm, I'm so not, excited. I'm not nailing her with a shocker. No, 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 no. Okay? no this is a shocker. So you got a mommy, mommy makeover yes. and been very public about it. I have. And then do you feel like, have you been public about it? Because I always felt that there was like this stigma about women getting plastic surgery. Do you feel like you're like combating or trying to combat that like stigma of 100%. like women hating on women for getting surgeries because they want to. It's like this very strange thing. Because whenever I say like, oh, I got a BBL, people are like, oh my God, you better fucking work your yeah, BBL. But yeah. then I feel like if you're like, girl, it's kind of like, you got a BBL. She's thin. You know, mm. I remember someone telling me, it's like when you're already like attractive, like people get so mad. Not saying I'm like, mm. oh, I'm pretty, but like, well, you are. Honey, you know, so, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Thank you. But Stunning. you know, sometimes yeah. they're like, if someone sees it and they're like, oh, she needed that, which I think is so gross. Yeah. Like, yeah. why would someone look at someone and think like, oh, she needs that. She needed that nose job. Like, yeah. I just, yeah, totally. you know, I hate mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. But you know, I did. I just wanted to be clean about it. I did get my first BBL um, back in. I don't know. I was like 18, 19. So I was mm. really young. And that was before it became like really trendy. Like yeah. now it's like I, I talked about that. things. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So people want to say I try to hide it. I don't think I try to hide it. I just didn't really talk about it. But if people asked me, I did say I had it. If that makes totally. sense. Well, technically, you don't exactly have to. I know. Yeah, you don't have to. Anything. I do think yeah. like that's something I should consent to. It is my body. If yeah. I want to publicly talk about it, I should you be can. able to. 100%. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I did get a BBL back then and I never made the content about it and I always went back and forth like I regretted it all the way back in like 2021 I was like should I make the video now or is that mm -hmm, mm -hmm. time has passed yeah so that's why I'm like I'm sharing this mommy makeover and I also talked about my surgery mm -hmm. that I've gotten in the past but I think that just goes to show like don't compare yourself to yeah. people online yeah. you know you don't know what they're mm -hmm. doing behind the scenes or you know what surgery they've had or hadn't and so for me, I just, I really wanted to share also because I think it's different after you have kids too. Mm -hmm. You know, it's more, I guess it's more accepted, but I actually got a lot of hate after Did I had really? kids. Yeah. What about getting the surgery? Think, about like, getting I the feel surgery. Like would be, the biggest thing, saying, well, the biggest thing is, is she looks the same. That's the biggest thing. It's like you had lipo, you know how long it takes to heal. Oh my God. It takes like, like six, six months. Yeah. Six, seven months. So I'm six like, to like eight two months. weeks post-surgery. My legs are swollen so mm -hmm. much. People are like, Oh my God. She looks the exact same. She, no, she's gained weight. I'm like, yeah, because oh, the right. doctor put fat like <gasps> in me. In your yeah. freaking it's leg. The liquid. They don't There's even so much liquid time. inside you. Literally. And I'm like, honestly, I could have just not shared this. And I don't think anybody would have noticed that I. This is why people don't share stuff. They and don't this share. Is why they this is why don't. people aren't open, right? And there. then they write such horrible things. Mm -hmm. Like, I forgot. People were coming at me as a mother. That was the worst thing. Yeah. Like, your kids are going to grow up and see such a vain mother. No, they're this, not. Like, your no, daughter is going to, your daughter is going to oh. ask why she doesn't look like you. And I'm like, oh, because every Everybody looks just like, like their, their mother. mother. Right? I look nothing like I my know, mother. People don't nothing. even think we were related. I know. Uh -huh. I'm like, y'all are just pulling shit out of your ass. Absolutely. That's what just, what I feel like they're just do. hating. They're hating to hate because right. they just want to be Debbie Downers and just hate on right. you. And the thing is, like, again, like we we're like what Laura was saying about like just because you have kids doesn't mean that you can't take care of yourself in some capacity. And like, if right. you want to get it, then get it. Right. Your kids will understand because you wanted it. And if you're happy, the family's happy. I exactly. the household's ha happy. Yeah. You and know? I always say. I would hope that I would raise my daughter to not grow up and leave these disgusting comments under a stranger's post. Period. That's the way I want to raise my kids, to be open-minded, to be accepting, not to be judgmental keyboard warrior mm -hmm. like half of you guys. Like, you know. Dead ass. That's, so the like, right. That's the real That's, embarrassment. Right. That's the real embarrassment. I would be more embarrassed. Oh right. I'd be more embarrassed. Die. Imagine your child had like a hate page for in someone. The, no, I would die. I, I would die dungeon, over that. Like, not them getting a nose job. Literally. Oh, no, I'd no. be like, Basement. you're a hater like, you're a troll you're, oh, you're troll. a troll you're a troll no, I, would, I would i would have their accounts deleted i would have I would them delete them. and i would delete them off the face of the earth <laughs> i would definitely like if i found them a kid literally like ran a hate page see that's the I real that's the real problem I have to okay so i've never gotten a bbl and let's be very clear i'm 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 a wussy i'm scared really i'm scared Scared. Mm -hmm. I mean, every if time, I was like, brave, like oh, so my scared. list is this long of stuff I would do <laughs> if I was like a braver You're person. Like, I can do it. I can do I'm it. just scared. Um, so both of you know, but what is like, like whenever you come out of surgery, what is that like? Are you just like fine? Well, when you look down, you're literally skinnier. It's literally crazy. Really? You're like wrapped time. up and you're, you're wrapped up. high mm -hmm. and you're 
this. You're like, are you like super shaky and cold? Absolutely, you're freezing. Yeah, and like your eyes are a little dry because they okay. were like it's shut fuzzy, kind of fuzzy yeah. too. Like okay. you don't see, it. you feel like you're are in you that scared? weird days. No, you're not scared. No, because you're coming out of it, so you're kind of like can feel you're about going, going, going into it. Okay, okay, okay. I'm scared going in. So I'm, I'm exactly. like, really oh my nervous. god, in my last my mommy makeover vlog, literally I'm laying on the table and I'm like, I'll see y'all when I'm snatched. Oh, no, dead ass. That's how I want to be. <laughs> if I could be like that, I would get so much stuff done. Honestly, you're so perfect. You don't need. I know, but I hate when people say that to me. I'm like, girl, shut up. I do it to everyone too that wants to get something done. I'm like, no, please don't touch it. Like, I'm so bad about it. But Mm -hmm. when people do it to me, I'm like, stop. Like, shut up. I need it. (laughs) Um, But so I get it. I get it. So that's why I just want to know. Okay. And then you wake up and you're, but you're not in pain, right? No, because that's not, not, not immediately. Wear yeah, off. The yeah, when that, that, like, not the epidural. I'm thinking about childbirth. <laughs> when the like, anesthesia uh-huh. wears off, you're like, damn, I'm okay. a little sore. No, yeah, okay. and then they and they give but they give you medicine and they give you all yeah. these things to like really enable you to like okay. heal as best as you can. But okay. yeah, you have to like wear your little faha for like How long? six months. Oh, that's a long yeah. time. Yeah, and I like, would for still the first wear mine three at, night. at all times. Yeah, and then I would wear at night day and night. Six months. Probably get used to it. You know what? Like lipo isn't that bad. I will say the the healing is annoying because again, you swell, like you go, I feel like mm-hmm. I'm I'm like four months post-surgery, five months, and I'm just now starting to feel less swollen. Yeah. Wow. So it takes it takes a while. So a don't be time. like, oh, my wedding's next month. Let me go don't get life. Go not. You need like six months to a this year. This is good information. Yeah, uh-huh. like good to know. But for me, the nose was the hardest because it's my <sighs> face. Oh my God. I was I've always like in my in my mind, I'm like, I'm gonna get a nose job. I want a nose job. Like, so like, we both, I love like, my nose. We I'm both like, like been like, it's so nose good. Jobs. I'm it's going so, to your doctor so if good. I ever do I it. Too. I, I love my nose job. Like, I'll I do love it. Again. it. Yeah. But I'm like, gonna show you I'm guys. Scared of an, what? I'm gonna show you show guys. Us. Do you wanna see it now? Yes. Yes. Pull out your nose before. I need to know. Oh no. I need to know. I'm gonna show you guys my healing. That's what I wanna see. I wanna see. This is where I'm that's this is where I'm interested in. I like Okay, when you Okay, how cause your nose is in the center of your face, so how scared were you? You're kidding. This is like the most brutal thing. I've, I've had the seen. worst healing ever. Hey. Your little eyeball. Can you guys put pictures on the screen? Yes. yes. I can send that to you. Oh, this, I always, and we would I love know. to post. We would love literally to put it up because I would have literally been shocking. like. I get literally. why it bruises your eyes, but why does it make your blood vessels pop? I have no idea. Stop. I woke up looking like a demon. Uh-huh. It's the pressure. How long did the bruising eyes. and so that this to go me away. like that's why I'm like BBL is. Oh girl, you, you were chilling. chilling. You were chilling. Like, ooh, like this, this is brutal. And then like I was literally swollen. And then I got pregnant, like, cause even for nose, it's like two years healing. Yep. I got pregnant uh-huh. like eight months post nose job. So I look at pictures of me eight months pregnant with Kayvon, my nose was like this big. No. So you're kidding it's, I, went cool. it's, I heard that you have to like tape your nose and like yeah, it's like these like taping. Like a like, nose faha. Yes, yes, like a little like at nighttime you tape it to How stay. long did the black and blue and the eyes messed up last? Like, I would say like a good four months. Ooh. It take it took a while for me. Other people they don't go through that. Like me, I don't know why. I guess I have thin skin. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. Anything would but happen to me. I know literally anything, anything that, that would could be my, what that's just my healing. Or maybe people who look like what I did they don't post their healing. I feel like for, that's probably more that, so. That's, yeah. So what do you do for four months? I mean, you probably just You're like, out, it gets dude. better. It gets probably yeah. gets uh-huh. better as you go. It going. gets better. But yeah. literally, again, two months after nose job, I'm posting videos and people are like, she looks so different. She looks like Michael Jackson, da, da, da. And it's like, you're already going through your own anxiety healing from and then a major people, surgery. Like, uh-huh. Yeah, and then people just want to shit all over it. It would trigger me and I would start I ripping people apart. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You have to be strong. You start yeah. triggering. You would start why, ripping. Uh, uh, it wouldn't be good That's for me. That's why I'm just like, let me just be honest so we can heal together instead of people being like. Let's heal together, y'all. Yeah, let's heal together. Let's because y'all gonna, you're physical. gonna try me. <laughs> I'm healing. Literally. You. <laughs> That's why there's something different literally, happening I'm like, here. I'm literally healing, but okay. That is. I remember like when I had gotten my BBL like what seven years ago. I you also got him early so, on. He was an early. So, I was one of the too. early onsetters. Um, and I kept it like so private for so long. Yeah, and it, I did. Did it was like, more taboo. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it, was. It, was. Yeah, it was just like not like the thing back then. So I was like, oh, I just want to do my own personal thing. And then it wasn't until like four years later when I was like, oh yeah, by the way, I, I had got that. And people were like, what? When? Like, how did you hide that? And I was like, I, I just didn't sit. Seamless. I had no idea. I just didn't sit. But you know what's crazy? A lot of people look at my, when I had my original BBL and they think, they don't realize I had the BBL until now because my ass is so much bigger mm. because I went through two pregnancies. Yeah. Oh, okay. So now, like, I was still pretty slim, like, 
I had a booty, but it's right. not like what I have now. Right. right. So like people think that that one surgery like gave me this big butt. And I'm like, that's because I had the BBL and then fat just kept on piling on top. Got of it, it, got it. And I'm someone I carry fat in my legs. Okay. And like I'm someone I had like a reverse. It's like BBL. your natural body shape. Yeah. Like I've always had thick thighs. Mm -hmm. I've always had the thick thighs, but you would look at me from the front and be like, oh, she about to have like a dog. A dog. And then I turn and it's like, ah. Uh. <laughs> so that's why I'm like, I got the You're butt like, to need, match you, my thighs. Yes, yeah. yes, Not to make it all way. look more. Cohesive. Yeah, I think yeah. that's why people don't know if it's real or not. They guess or yeah. whatever. But I'm like, I just have the thighs. People think I got my hips. Like, no, like my hips, like this, all the fat was there. That's why mm. it looks and so I natural. Turn, it's like, yeah, yeah exactly. Like flatter, mm. you know? I mean, like you really could like look, you never know. Really? You're just like, it's oh my gosh, she has, a, she has a, no, I would just think that you have a little voluptuous body. Really? Like, I really wouldn't think that. <laughs> 100%. I swear. 100%. Because it looks, it flows open. so like, like naturally. You. People mm -hmm. ask me in person too. Sometimes creepy guys will come up to me. I was at the club and this guy Insane. ran up what? to me. You have a BBL? Yeah, he like ran up to me. Listen. No, no. <laughs> this guy ran up to me in the club, like chasing me down. He taps my back. I turn around. I'm like, yes. He goes, is your ass real? And I'm like, is your chain real? Like, <laughs> absolutely get, not. I know. I'm like, get out of my face. Like, you don't ask a lady that. What the hell is wrong with you? What a that is I crazy. But people will ask me. If a girl asks me, she's like, girl, like not to be weird, but do you have? I'd be like, no, like I haven't had anything. Really? I would all be like, like, I haven't had anything done, please. Really? Uh -oh. Oh no, I tell him. <laughs> I'm like, I'll give you the. No, I, I also like. I always will say. I never like am forthcoming with like. I got that. Like, but I know, if someone asks ask, me, I think it's we'll incredibly talk. inappropriate to ask someone if part of it their is. body is real. And it's that's, crazy. I agree. A lash, a hair extension, sure. a lip filler, yeah. go for it. My body. I know. Uh, I do agree, but people like the more time goes by, I just feel like people are just losing so much class and yeah and they are yeah. because i've been tacky. asked like at the gym several times like is that real like really by like guys that were like acquaintances or friends and i'm like yeah no like, has <laughs> no, like, like sometimes you guys. i was like it's, it's really mine it is i really paid real. for it yeah it's yeah. my fat that's it's my fat it is like, like i that's grew what, it like, myself I, I, like sometimes if they if <laughs> yeah, they give me attitude I did it myself yeah literally yeah. if they give me attitude i'm gonna be like yeah it's real <laughs> but if someone's nice about it i'll be like oh yeah no girl that's wild to me but i will be a bitch like some of the comments you lie. get online, I'm just like, you would never ask that in person. I was like, I wish you would ask me in person. Because so 2024, I'm going to be a bitch. Okay, I've already no, said that's my resolution. Me too. I've literally like, I don't care for people to like me anymore. I was I like, don't, don't even fuck. care. Like you're you're going to try me. I'm going to try you by back. I feel like back. that comes literally with age. Same. Although oh, you're yeah, very mature too. for your age. You were mature before you had kids. <laughs> I would say it's because you're a mom, but like, I feel like you were the no, same. No, my kids matured me for sure. They did, but I still think you've always been such a mature person. Like online. Yeah. You never acted like a young 20 year old. Never. I'm going to go through my midlife crisis. Don't worry. That's good. We'll be here one day. A quarter life. And y'all better write my quarter life crisis. Me <laughs> <on>. <laughs> Thank you to Shopify for sponsoring this portion of full coverage. Cha-ching! That's the sound you'll hear mm -hmm. when you switch your business to Shopify. It's a global commerce platform that supercharges your selling wherever you're selling, online, in person, on social media, and beyond. You guys, me and Laura both use Shopify for our small businesses and truly it is so good and they're so easy to transfer everything. You guys, Shopify actually makes it a lot easier for if you aren't using Shopify, they have these apps that you can install to make everything switch over super fast and super easy. And honestly, we're huge fans. There's tons of brands on there. Ruggable, Allbirds, Magnolia, Glossier, just to say a few. Stop leaving sales on the table. Switch your business to Shopify and discover why millions trust Shopify as their all-in-one commerce platform to build, grow, and run their businesses. Sign up today for your $1 per month trial period at Shopify shopify.com slash full coverage all over case that's one month for one dollar at shopify.com slash full coverage shopify.com slash full coverage Cha -ching. thank you to better help for sponsoring this portion of full coverage Around New Year's, we get obsessed with how to change ourselves instead of just expanding on what we're already doing right. Mm -hmm. And that's what BetterHelp is for. If you guys don't know what BetterHelp is, it is online therapy. And I like it because I think it's accessible therapy for everyone. You guys, I have personally been to therapy several times in my life, especially when I was just going through a hard time going through the gigs. And I've always felt like it truly was something so great for me and something that I really was able to bounce back with someone, a professional that was able to, you know, help me through things. And I always think that everyone needs needs a little bit of therapy in their life and BetterHelp just makes it so much easier because you can do it from inside your couch. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online and designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. All you have to do is fill out a brief questionnaire and get matched with a licensed therapist and you can switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. 
Celebrate the progress you've already made. Visit betterhelp.com slash full coverage today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P.com slash full coverage. We have some like questions that are like little rapid fire rapid questions, fire questions Ooh, that we yeah. want to ask as well. So a random one is, have you ever had a bad experience working with a brand, being anything associated with a brand? Any negative experiences? Ooh, you don't have talk. to say the brand okay, name if you brand don't want talk to. Makes me nervous. That's what I'm saying. You don't have to like <laughs> say brand names. Okay, I won't say names. Yeah. yeah, no names. I just think brands sometimes can just be delusional, delulu, and they just don't think clearly. <laughs> I think a good one is a lot of times brands will be like, "We don't feel like we got our ROI." I I hate. Oh my these types god! Of talks. Return of investment, guys. That's what ROI means. Uh-huh. So they feel like they didn't get their return on investment, and our rebuttal is always. How do you track the sales you got from that billboard? Yep. How you do don't. you track the sales you got from that magazine ad? Mm-hmm. Tell me how. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Like how, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. You're paying for the advertisement. Yep. But they want to look at the link clicks. But I'm like, for example, I remember when Jackie Ina did her Olay for the Olay body wash. Mm-hmm. She did a sponsorship. Mm-hmm. I didn't click on her link to buy Never. it. I went to CVS and of I course. bought it. So how is how do you know? How is the brand gonna track that I bought it? Yep. Through the link. A hundred percent. So I just hate that about I've them. done the like, same exact yeah, thing. Like, like I bought something be, not I feel enough. like it if like I feel like brands are low key dumb for that because it's not always about the I O R R O I. What is it? I R L in real life. R O I. ROI Mm -hmm. is not always about the return on investment because it's about bringing relevance to the product and and the brand. Right. So you're making the product relevant. So Mm -hmm. they're brought there. Now they know your brand. Now they've seen off a trusted influencer that Mm -hmm. they love. They've heard the name. They've seen the brand. They've seen it been used. Chances are you may use it again because the brand paid, not because they paid you, but because you know, you're using it. You're working Mm with them. I use like pretty much everybody who sponsors me. Like I I use. See, that's why I say that because like I've been sponsored by way hair. Like, Mm -hmm. come on. Like I've been using way forever yeah. dr pepper it's like these are things that i constantly use so very you're bringing relevance to the brand it's not all about a click so it's like it's very small amount do you know that that's why um big companies do commercials on tv for relevance not for yeah, clicks exactly. they don't do it for how sales gonna how are you gonna track your they commercial? want their brands to be trusted so if a human sees it walmart over and over again mm-hmm. you know what walmart is mm-hmm. everybody in america knows what a walmart is exactly. and that's why that's all they need it they're not trying to sell a specific product they're trying to bring relevance and trying to get you familiar with the brand we're also doing that when they sponsor us so i just think it's so this silly idea of the brand that they want to be right spread mm-hmm. not just like buy this one thing yeah right yeah so they you brands get so much more than just a click whenever they sponsor an influencer right so it's like, a plus if they get a click and a buy right it is <laughs> it, it is, is. It's it's plus. Plus. one click it is a plus <laughs> it is it's a plus. plus if you get that the right. that's a bonus well. that's a bonus mm-hmm. And if you think about how much money they used to have to spend on these campaigns, honey, and then to pay for that billboard or that magazine ad, like they're getting a deal with our with us influencers. You know what I mean? Do you know that one of the cheapest billboards in the valley for one month is over ten thousand dollars? Wow. Yeah. And that's in the that ain't that ain't that's like Hollywood. Hollywood. And that's for 30 days. And that's like mm-hmm. the cheapest, like worst location, yeah. worst spot. So these brands will pay hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars just to for relevance to put up yeah. on a billboard. For multiple so billboards. So what they pay influencers a lot of time is crumbs compared crumbs. to that. Compared and to that. And we're the team. Like we're doing mm-hmm. our own hair, our own makeup, our mm-hmm own editing, content shooting content shooting like we're doing it all in mm-hmm. one package when in reality they would have had to hire a model mm-hmm. a makeup artist a hairstylist a marketing manager a photographer so videographer like yep you yep. know you're getting a deal that's a that's steal what i'm even. saying steal. i don't get that too often but when my team does like girl it's time i know, know. Time. get them on the phone and, 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 and honestly on the phone. you got the wrong teams with right. ours because i know they don't they'll rip that. you a new one they don't play that yes. shady. <laughs> Um, if you could work with any brand in the whole wide world, no matter what it is, what would the brand? Who would the brand be? Oh my god, my own. Period. Oh <laughs> yeah. yeah, I want my yeah. own brand so bad. That's I why I was what like, would you do? What yeah, would what would you be? do? It could be anything. Okay, so because I've struggled with acne so much, see, I mm-hmm. used to be someone who's like, hush, hush, I don't want people to evil eye me, but I'm like, For you sure. know what? Fuck the evil eye. There yeah. it is. It's be not real. strong enough to come after my goals and yeah, my exactly. Yes. But it's because I've struggled with acne so much, I really want to do a makeup line that caters to people with acne prone skin, but like actually caters to it. Cause you'll mm-hmm. see that and then you'll look at the ingredients and it's like trash. A nightmare. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I just want to make they like just throw salicylic in it and they're like, 
acne right. pro. And I like, know, girl, right? Please. And I'm like, why am I breaking out after using your products? So that's mm-hmm. why I really want to focus on just products that cater towards the sensitive skin and all of that. I mean, Smart. obviously, it's not just for people who struggle with that, but I right. want it to be like safe. Because the, like the, the amount mm-hmm. of anxiety I have trying a new oh. foundation, trying a new concealer, and I'm like shaking, putting it on. Am I going to wake up with like welts on my face? You mm-hmm. know, I don't want people to have to go through that with my brand. And know that it's that's, just like a safe brand. So safe. That's so smart. That's I love that. That's my first time I think saying it out loud. Uh, well, you, oh, just got, you manifest you it. Spoke into the universe. You spoke into the universe. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and you guys are so knowledgeable too. Did you see I commented on your um, yes, I saw TikTok that. and you responded. That makes a lot like, more responded. sense. That's why I was like, give us more. It was, <laughs> it was one of the ones that did um, like five things I didn't know before starting a brand. Well, right. if you ever have any questions, you know where you know to call. You know you we have a contact for every. Yeah, we remember that. Have a contact. I, know, remember that. <laughs> like, I know someone perfect we for that. Literally yeah, have a we will always know someone. <laughs> um, have you ever been on a brand trip? I have been on a few. Have you ever had a negative experience on a brand trip? My only negative experience would have to be I just feel like the brand gets really excited, and they want to just jam pack your schedule. <laughs> 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 I just it's just like I didn't not you're gonna know you're gonna say that but it's you just like no, something no, that we, no, literally it's like but the same time when you go on a brand trip guys like you're required to post content so it's like I remember Wait, the oh, last one I went on. I tell you guys. I know all the all the girls were sitting there talking like, when do we have time to to post our reel? Like, there's no time, and they'll put the dumbest things on the calendar that like nobody on the itinerary. Wants to do. They're like, no one really cares. Do the dinner. Do the dinner. Of course. Do the dinner. One activity during the one day. One activity that's during it. the day and a dinner. It. That's it. That's, that's it. it. You don't, like, don't feel like you need to. And you know what? One of the brand reps asked me, like, they wanted feedback. And I told them that don't feel like you need to just jam pack our schedule because a lot of us, like, this is also, we want to treat it like a vacation too. We want to work and have fun too. Mm-hmm. So we want time to relax, edit our posts for you, be in a good headspace, you know? When content they're too jam packed, take- they're not like fun to me. Content yeah. takes. Time. time right time like hours if you're, like, if you're on a trip filming. you're editing your shit like yeah you're not if you're on a brand trip and you have like your obligations to post while you're on the trip you don't have enough time to send it to an editor baby I know. you're editing and you're filming it right then and there right. so where's the time between i think it's like i understand on the brand structure like they don't want you guys to have like a lot of empty space to like feel like you're having not a good time right it's like no we want the empty we want space. them to have the most amazing the time space. give me all the empty i want space. the empty space give me the empty space please less is more yeah. Less is always Less more. Less is more. The, be- the best trips I've ever had were ones that had such little activities uh-huh. that had like dinners every night that were just like, we all come together, do our thing, but like had us giving us like freer days. Even two things in a day is a lot. Like if we're going mm. jet skiing across an island, I don't want to run back and get ready for I dinner. I know, right? Cancel like, the dinner. Ski, two to four, four dinner five. five. Yep. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> they want you no, to ride about, off the jet ski into the dinner. <laughs> the swi- the, but the, swi- the swimming Have your makeup done before you. And, and, and then your gowns ready for the dinner with your hair and makeup done off the jet ski. Morning yoga, eight to ten. No, morning yoga. Uh, brunch, morning yoga is my favorite. Brunch from ten to, uh, ten to one. But no, Two to they want you to four. party with them to, to the, with the brand reps till one in the morning and get drunk with them, but be at morning yoga. <laughs> Literally. Ready for content. Ready for seven con- Ready to shoot. But we'll you give know, you a croissant. I hate what, <laughs> right. The croissant. A cliff bar. Here you that, go. That they dangle it in front of your face yeah. like, we'll give you a croissant. <laughs> you want a croissant? But you know, it sucks that when you complain about this, people who aren't in the industry, they'll be like, you're complaining. You're getting a free trip. You're getting a free trip. You're getting a free trip. I would rather say like, home. You think this trip is free? <laughs> oh, like you think this, cool. this trip, there's nothing free about this no. trip. And this trip is a tax write off uh-huh. for the brand. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. And they're basically, instead of paying influencers for content, they're putting that money into the trip. So you do the content for free, free. Mm-hmm. on this trip. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You on know? the free mm-hmm. trip. Yeah, the free trip. Mm-hmm. Yes. But for the brand, it's the most Post 30 very TikToks great. on your free trip. Of course, it's free. <laughs> it's free. You have 10 posts to do. Yeah, 10 posts to do before you leave on your two day trip where you uh-huh. have one hour downtime. <laughs> yes. So the thing is, like, it sounds crazy because we just sound like absolute fucking lunatics talking about something like this. But, like, when you break it down to think that, like, your entire day is filled with fun things, mind yeah. you, they're fun, but throwing in work in there is so hard to manage. And it's like balance, the whole balance act. That's just something. That's so hard for all of us as influencers. It's like when you turn it off, mm-hmm. because our on content, branches, I never turn it off. Never, yeah, I not, never not at one even minute. I'm on the entire time. Off. But even when we're just like relaxing, like for example, I love your videos you do with like your cool drinks and like, oh, yeah, oh. It's like, oh, yeah. like oh let me bake real quick. But you're making content out of it, so it's like, is it even like a fun little hobby? No, nope. it's like no, it's nope. it's still your work. Girl, like, that's work. Maybe that's work. It's so work. That is work. That is like work. you got to make sure the lighting is good and you can't yep. spill this because it throws off the clip. Like oh girl, you know, for real, that's the hardest. And the amount of stuff I've messed up and had to start over just because right. you know, you're filming it and it has to be perfect. 
People but don't see content sucks the joy out of everything. I see yeah. people cleaning their house. I'm like, I know you're not enjoying a day cleaning because you're having to film it. You're having to do it perfectly. You can't bend over weird. You can't have your belly hanging. You know, right. you have to be like cleaning. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, right. it's like hard when you're filming it's everything. It's mm-hmm. no longer fun when you have to film it, but it's our job. And you have to make it look natural. Yep. You can't be staged. Yep. Can't be staged no. though. It has to, so it has just be, to natural. be natural. Right. I mean, when your passion becomes your your yeah. passion becomes your job it takes the passion out of right. the thing it has its pros and it has its mm-hmm, cons for mm-hmm. sure like but i wouldn't trade it for the world absolutely wouldn't not yeah for it's the like world. we are grateful yeah. about their we are kids, fucking grateful right. but they wouldn't just, trade their kids for the world exactly it's that you exactly. know this is our li- labor of love uh-huh. labor and we of wouldn't trade love. it for the world it. but let us whine a little oh my god i love complaining me too I love it's it. Addictive. It's right. addictive. Complaining is the best. I don't care. I hate when people are like, she's always complaining. You need to get the demons out. I yeah. always say, I'm like, babe, I need to get the demons out. It's fun. Hello. It's funny. Do you guys know that song by Drake with his new album and the girl at the end is like, I get on the plane. He told me there was no first class yep. seats. Literally, as I'm listening to that, I'm like, I want to be this girl's friend. Like, let's You're complain like, about let's dumb shit. She gets it. Yes. yes. Oh, that I love it. Bad. I have Laura for that too. Thank God. I mean, girl. I right. be like, like you have the friends. I literally started like, girl. Can I be a bitch? Really I know, please? literally. I'm literally say. like, <laughs> yes, you can. Tell me what you need. That's my sister for me. I'm like, it's, it's it. just nice to have, like, to be able to, like, yeah, purge to somewhere that you know is just going to stay there. A safe space. Mm-hmm. It's a safe space. Okay, we always ask every guest this to close the episode. Well, one, do you have anything you want to plug? Tell us your channel. Tell us something. Instagram. Uh, TikTok. So, uh, TikTok. I'm lucky. I have the same social handle for everything. Oh, Osmi Kavari. I'm also really active on Snap. You know, the Snapchat Oh, yes. The Snapchat girl. Oh, uh-huh. I'm a Snapchat girly. Um, so when my brand does come out, get ready. Oh, uh, hell yeah. Uh, for sure. Get ready. Yeah, you so guys always send the best PR, too. Oh, my God. I oh, love when I get a try. package from you guys. We Literally, try. that, like, sandalwood right now is, like, my... <gasps> girl, that's it's my so fucking everything. good. Oh, my God. And the body so oil. <laughs> okay, I love it's the body the best. I mean, I made it, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta love it. You made it. Okay. Like, it actually sucks. <laughs> it's, it's terrible. I need to get rid of the product. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. No, you know my sister, she used to work at this, I won't oh say the God, name of the so restaurant, funny. but she told me <laughs> like, that, yeah. listen, these restaurants will tell you when you ask them what's good, they're going to tell you what's not selling. What's not moving. What's not moving so they can get rid of the produce, get rid of the food. So I'm like, that's you like, get the oil. This is why I never, I never... <laughs> I never. First of all, I would never let a stranger tell me what's good because I'm a control freak. If you told me that, that. I'd order the opposite just because Virgo. But my Virgo. Oh, just, Virgo. just say you're a Virgo. We I'm get a, it. Yeah. You get it. Virgo, you get you it. I would understand. never. I'd never. Be like, uh-uh. I love whenever they'll tell me all the specials and I'm like, Anyway, anyway, so I'll be <laughs> yeah. right. I already looked this up on Yelp last night. <laughs> Girl, like, like I'm you're good. never gonna stoop and goop me because I'm not gonna give you the chance. Mm-mm. But my husband's always like, "What should I get? What do you think? Whatever you think." And I I'm tell, like, "You're sick." I, I know what he's, he's sick. I know what he's gonna order. Like I literally tell my husband, "You're gonna get either this or this." That's him with me. Yeah, yeah I'm the opposite. But I'm a Virgo. I'm, <laughs> I'm a control freak. You're not, not ever. Okay. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. we always ask every guest this before they leave. And the question is, if you had a billion dollars cash tax free in a chest, what's the one thing you would buy? Don't say charity. Can't be charity can't stuff. Be charity. Can't be giving it. You uh, okay, got so like be superficial. Raw, yeah, be yes. su- we want a we superficial want the juice. We don't answer. want charity. We want some Perfect. shit. We love charity and I we always, love the world. <laughs> I always joke. I'm like, I need a million dollars cash. Peace. Always. I would fix everything. Hello. Obviously, I would mm-hmm. want to help people as much as I possibly could with that money. And Let's obviously, with the you already did it. You already did all that. I could do that. You did it all. Yes, you did it already. So now you got to get yourself something i want to buy another house mm. Mm. I like for it. sure i like it buy where at i love the valley i'm a valley girl uh, oh it's the best you know really? like i just love so you the can valley. afford one house <laughs> i one, know one I'm, I'm gonna one get one billion dollars <laughs> okay one so home. that's just one thing i'm working towards i want a bigger home i love especially that. especially as the kids are getting bigger i'm like yeah. we need more space yeah um, I would put a lot of money into my brand, Ooh, multiple uh-huh. brands. See, I like that. And multiple. I've always said, like, I want to be like a shark, like an investor. An incubator. Oh, you want to be yeah, like, you want to incubate. Like, mm-hmm. I would just want to invest in a bunch of different brands. Like, I want to have a portfolio. Hell yeah. Maybe buy like an apartment building. Oh, so you want to be rich, rich for life. You want to be rich for life. I'm thinking like, what Long is, term. I want to add to my money. net worth, you know? Yes. Like, I want to take that billion. Get money. The kids I want to take money. that billion and make it into 10 billion. Yes. That's what I want to do. No one's ever said they want to turn the one into 10. Mm-mm. That's cool. That's oh, a new really? one for us. We I love that. that. Oh, look at me. I literally <laughs> love that. That's why we That's don't genius. allow people to give the charity answer. Yeah, we, I know, we, right. we already know like we you're going to give. We know you're going to give. If you're right. a good person, we you're going to give something. Right. We already Come on. know. Like we, know. we want the cheese, ma. That's want, actually yeah. one thing I'm also working towards this year is starting my charity. 
Oh, oh yeah. my God, that's amazing. That's amazing. For, like focusing mostly on like immigrant families, mm-hmm. just because yes. I know the struggles my family went through. Sure, I was two sure. when we came here. Yeah. Uh-huh. But I would definitely just want to help, you know, immigrant families. The transition. There's so much. There's so much. Mm-hmm. I mean, also like immigrant parents coming to the U.S., like the amount of knowledge you have to yeah, know resources. so quickly, so fast. I don't know how so they intense. do it. My parents did it through my teenage brother because my brother was 16 <sighs> when we came here. So like my brother has literally still to this day, he like handles like the paperwork and exactly. like this mm-hmm. and that. So I want to provide that for. Does your brother live in California? He's in Ohio. Oh, is oh yeah. he's still in Ohio. Did he, he love Ohio? Ohio when he y'all loves lived it. There? Oh, yeah, I love that for him. Honestly, That's I cute. always think like, would I still live in Ohio- in LA if I didn't have social media? Mm. I definitely think this is the best place for it. Hundred percent for sure. But I always have this dream of just like living around everywhere. Grass is always green. Yeah, yeah like six months in Miami, six months here. A bike coastal months- grilly. Yeah, yeah, like you know, I think it'd be fun to just be all over the place. Yeah. But then you're like, I have three kids then. No, yeah, yeah. And we need to stay. And like, no, even then, yeah. I'm like, who knows when they're older? Maybe we can do yeah. like three months in like Spain or totally. something. Absolutely. I want them. I want my kids. You guys watch MasterChef Junior. Mm. So they're these little like 10 year old kids who are chefs, like working with Gordon Ramsay. I've seen, I've mm-hmm. seen And the they'll previews. be like, I'm preparing this pad thai I learned <laughs> when I backpacked through Thailand. Like, At 10? and they're like nine. I'm like, I want my kids to like have. I like, want my uh, kids to backpack in Thailand. Literally. <laughs> the first like, time I got on the plane was when I was 25. <laughs> so. <laughs> No, literally. I'm like, Ugh. they were like, huh. no. <laughs> and they're like, yeah, in they're another like, country. If they're nine years old. You know, when I was visiting Japan, I know. Literally, they're like, when I was, I learned how to create this when I was in France for the yeah. summer. I'm like, you're eight. Like, what do you mean? What? Right. That's very more like a rich luxury. I feel. Yeah. That's and I, I want rich my luxury. kids. I want my kids to have that rich luxury. Hell yeah. You know, like I didn't have that. If you I want can, my kids yeah. to have the world. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. why I don't understand people that like are ashamed by their wealth. You know, kids yeah. that grow up with that money. I'm like, I'm working this hard so my kids can live the life that they want, have yeah. that freedom. And I'm like, you yeah. better use it. Don't be like, no, I don't want it. Yeah, you better like, be totally. proud. I'm you rich, better be bitch. proud. We're old like, money. You know, I want we're you to- old money, goddammit. We're God damn literally it. old money. We've been had money. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Right, because you know, you do grow up with that fear, especially being from a small town and being an immigrant family. It's like, I was always told like, save, save, save. And I oh, feel like it, too. Too. it like holds always... you back in life because also mm-hmm. in this industry, I've learned like the more you invest your money and make it that's work That's how you make you, money. That's how you make that- That's how the rich get richer. That's how the rich get richer. Exactly. The investment. It's so true. Because they don't save their money. people aren't scared of spending money. Because uh-uh. the more you fear spending money, the more it doesn't come to uh-huh. you. Mm-hmm. So I had to come to terms with that. And yeah. I'm like, it's what's so tough true. whenever you grew up without any money? Exactly. Because exactly. you have to break. I read a the whole cycle. book and deep cycle. dive two years mm-hmm. ago in my relationship with money and mm-hmm. redoing my patterns of what, how I think about money because I grew up without money Ooh, give me the book. and so i will it is really great because it will literally break down all the little subconscious belief you have with money and it helped me us be able to invest because he is like let's invest this and i'd be like, oh, like I know. what if we don't get this money I know, yeah right? 100%. what if we don't make it back yeah but it's like you have to make money you have to spend you have money to, to make, make money. money you have to mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so I'll, I'll give you the book but yes, anyways you. anything else <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so now you're really putting me in the hot seat. <laughs> Honestly, I just hope you all have an amazing, blessed year. I just, I really think 2024 is a very pivotal year mm-hmm. for a lot of us. I just mm-hmm. feel like everybody just seems different. Yeah. yeah. You know, like yeah. the Things girlies are, are yeah, the like, an evolution. Mm-hmm. Yes. Like I just really love this whole wellness era that we're in. And yeah. I think it's very beautiful. You yeah. know, I've even noticed that because I was talking to my friends, it seems like less people are at the clubs. Like you go to the club. Oh my God. It's so I am in the club I all could, the time. No, but, no, but yeah, just like, like seeing it, you don't right. see it as much. Like I was just in Miami and I'm like, it used to be just like that's where everybody especially when i was younger like i'd go to the 18 and up nights like everybody was at the club like mm-hmm. on the weekend but i'm like the girlies have an 8 a.m pilates in the morning like and that's like the trend yeah right? which is the yes. best and I love trend it. ever you know, i think it's wellness really good as a trend is everything all of our health i think we're going to be the healthiest generation well, millennials are the ones what? that changed it all. Yeah, we're gonna live we to were... one fifty or something like that. I don't want to live that long. I don't either. But I'm saying like, they were saying that because <laughs> our technology has gotten and like health, wellness, technology, everything is like making everyone live a lot longer now. And right. it's like if we're born as a millennial, it's like we're gonna be so, we're supposed to live longer than the generation before. Like, I just feel like millennials are so educated on their health, and it's transpired down to Gen Z, but it started with us. Yeah. Like we made the big change. Like mm-hmm. we were yeah. from the generations and generations before us. It was millennials that yeah. really made They're the like, change. Uh huh. Uh-huh. It's probably the internet because we grew, we were the we youngest people with social media and the internet. Right. We were the first, so we got to experience the childhood without it, and then we got to grow up with it and like really just dis- we're the discover see other people's stories so we're the ones i feel like that changed everything so yeah we're very health conscious and mm-hmm. it's definitely aware true. but it's nice because it makes me feel normal and inspires me 
It does. It's very inspiring. Yeah. And I always think back if I was a younger girl and this was what was trending because I grew up on Jersey Shore and the Kardashians. Maybe. Absolutely. And Dr. Pepper. And Dr. Pepper Shore. Chicken. Next. You know? So Room now Raiders. it's like, you know, people are talking bad about the 10 year olds who want the Stanley and the mm -hmm. skincare. And I'm like, I think it's a beautiful thing that they yeah. want to drink their water and they want to, you know, do this. Like, why I, I, not encourage it? Mm -hmm, like, yeah, mm -hmm. okay, it's a $40 water bottle, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. But it's like, I love that that's what they're growing up seeing. Like, they're seeing the girls that are like getting their workout and getting their work done, doing their have tos before their want tos. And mm -hmm. I think it's a lot better than watching Jersey Shore at that age. Yeah. Like, right. Yeah. You know, doing vision boards 100%. instead of watching Jersey Shore. Yeah. Like, they're doing their vision boards. Uh -huh. Like, I love it. Like, that's really yep. cute in comparison. Like, again, like, I think it's, it, there's something really wild about the fact that, like, kids grow up a lot younger now, mm -hmm. it seems like. Yeah. Like, everyone's, like, seems like they're maturing a lot younger, too. So it's so, it's such a, like, wild thing. Cause I've seen, I, I was at Sephora recently, I saw a little girl that was, like, oh, buying tacha. And I was like, <laughs> the dewy skin. <laughs> yes. I was literally like, what's up? <laughs> Because I just didn't like I like it was so different from my childhood, obviously. So it's like this is such a fascinating like time that we're in. It just felt like I was like in a surreal world. Yeah. Because I was mm -hmm. like, this is so wild. I know. This is wild. So social media it influence. Is. We didn't have that. Yeah. Right? We, it, Whenever it we're like twelve years old, you know, mm -hmm. you did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I started. I started getting yeah. it like in high Into school. It. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Instagram was invented when I was a freshman in high school. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's when I remember. The whole like Tumblr era, like making it. Oh, maybe that was me. Onto like you know, like young, wild, and free, infinity sign. Yep. Yeah, oh, oh yeah. God. A feather you in the hair. See when people the post, right? The nostalgic uh -huh. videos, and you're like, wait, that's considered like retro now. Like, and it's literally like wildflower phone cases. No. Like I still have mine. They're like, like it's coming back. I'm like, I know. Like, it, 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 it went away. Left. When did it leave? <laughs> it's like low rise coming back, and I'm like yeah, that like was 15 jeans, years ago. Like skinny jeans, being chuggy. I'm like. So I have to get rid of all of my skinny jeans. I like, have to get rid of all my jeans. Me too. They never flattered me because I'm straight hips. <laughs> so girl, you look like a walking You're like, pencil. fuck yeah, so fuck I was like, jeans. low rise is finally back. Cause it's like when rise. you have no hips, like those skinny jeans, you're just like a walking they pencil. They would hug you. I hate, hug high, I hate high waisted because I have a shorter torso. Okay, yes. Same. So like high waist my goes to my rib gauge. My uh, like, belly button. Yeah. So it's like. No, literally. There's <laughs> my no jeans will be right literally like right here. I hated it. Uh, <laughs> the, the titties over the jeans, like, literally, it's over the like jeans. tit jeans. Yeah, like. so low uh, so I was like, oh, it's my time. Right. It's my time. <laughs> but anyways, this was literally so good having you. Oh, I so already knew. Fun. I love your vlogs. I already watched and know so much about you, but I feel like I know more now. So oh, thank yeah. you so much for coming. You're like really connected. Yes. No, we like, we're, and we're so grateful they came. Like we really appreciate it. Oh, it was super fun. So like much. it was such an easy episode. Like you made it so easy and so simple. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Well, you guys, we will have all of her information and her YouTube channel linked down below. So please check it out. And that is it for today's episode. Mm -hmm. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>